This video is proudly brought to you by the On Three Legs VIPs, very important photographers. If you'd like to become an On Three Legs VIP, head to patreon.com slash on three legs to learn more. a.m. Sunrise was officially about five minutes ago but it was one of those mornings where the cloud uh, on the horizon was hiding the sunrise so I actually didn't think I'd be taking an image. But what I've done is I found a spot that I think is going to work really nice as the sun comes up or even with a soft light right now. If I can get things set up quick enough I can probably capture it with a soft light. Uh, yeah, some mornings it's just like that, isn't it? The, the sun was hiding behind the clouds, and what it means is that we don't get that amazing sunrise. It was a bit of colour, but uh, it was very obstructed by the clouds. So, I'm just going to set up here, and I can just get a shot of these trees. I think I'm going to need to change the 24 to 70, but we'll have a look and just see how the 12 to 24 goes. I think it might be too wide. Beautiful morning. It's definitely too wide, so I have to put a, a different lens on to get the shot that I want. So I've switched over to the 45mm tilt shift um, and the sun is rising pretty rapidly. What I'm shooting is I'm shooting across to these trees where as the sun hits it, it's going to light them all up beautifully. And I'm going to make a panoramic image out of it. Uh, they're just all these dead trees, they look really good. If you haven't seen me do this before, it's relatively simple. What I do with the tilt shift lens is I go all the way to the right, take a photo. So I'll do that now. Just checking the exposure because uh, it's full manual this one and then I shift it all the way left see how the lens is moving there's a little knob underneath that allows me to move it around so if I shift it all the way to the left I can then take the second image like that and then when I get back home I can stitch those two together in uh, Lightroom or Photoshop and get a really nice panoramic image it's not the uh, most brilliant of colours, but it's a nice, it's a nice morning light. Interestingly, one of the most beautiful times of the day, and I'm it. There's no one else up. So peaceful. You can hear the birds chirping, the waves crashing. Just waiting for that sun to get a little bit higher, so it fills my frame up with light, and. Uh, I'll be able to take advantage of that beautiful soft morning light. I've also got the moon slowly creeping into my shot, which is kind of cool. I'm just, I'm changing things as I'm going because of that light. Uh, pretty much constantly just keeping it at f16. This lens goes to f32, but I find it works well at f16 uh, when I'm stitching two together. Otherwise I get these funny I don't know, like a funny line between the, the two images if I stitch two together that I shot at f32. Just be the limitations of the lens. Making the hole really small and forcing all the light through obviously does things to it. 
using the the tilt shift as a, a way to make a, a panoramic image is a pretty cool way of doing it. it makes it nice and easy. It's interesting, I've had better uh, sunsets and sunrises lately. This morning, just uh, even this first light's a bit harsh. I think the image is still going to work quite nice, but uh, would have been nice if the uh, cloud wasn't on the horizon, but it seems to be the, the theme lately. I don't know what causes it. Maybe it's some sort of uh, global thing, or who knows. But uh, lately it's been happening a lot. I've got the moon up there in the sky. But it's going to be quite small in the image. But anyway, it'll still work. It's there. And then uh, all these dead trees. Uh, they go for, I don't know, a kilometre or so. Couple, maybe a couple of kilometres. I don't know, it appears like it's thicker down there. But I think it's just because it's further away. All the trees are bunching up in my field of view. So I think that'd probably be no different to what I'm looking at here. That's what I'm going to tell myself anyway to justify not walking all the way down there. <laughs> well, just about done now. The sun has risen enough that I'm getting the shot that I want. Uh, but as an added bonus, the moon has started to come down as well and I've positioned it just above a branch or a tree with a couple of branches that look like hands trying to grab the moon. So really, it's gonna look nice. Uh, I'll take a couple more shots and then I'm gonna be done. Go and make a cup of coffee, have some breakfast, and then uh, start making the journey back home. If you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any videos. And until next time, get out there and take some photos. See ya.